Spit shine! Spit shine! Nothing, spit shine! Nothing, nothing will spit shine! Fix it! <laughs> okay, what are we? Okay, just count us down and do the thing. Hey, welcome back! Thirsty Thursdays once again. Again, yes. And another another beauty day on the prairie. Where are we at now? We oh, at? we're probably what, like seven, eight, ten, twenty, thirty weeks in at this point. We're just we're just breaking records, breaking records. But also, harvest season's kicking up. That's, that's something. Yeah, right? a, lot, a lot of a lot of guys. Dropping off to do that around these parts. I don't know where everyone else is from, but that's a big deal around here. That's the talk of the town. So harvest is in full swing, and then it started raining. Yeah. So, so if you're sitting in your shop, not on harvest. Watch. Subs subscribe and like <laughs> our video. Subscribe and come because like we were what week seven, twenty, thirty weeks into this thing, yeah. and. Our subscribers haven't really jumped up. Oh, shout thought. out to the Cut Knife Unity North Falford area, you guys. Come on, subscribe and like. Yeah, yeah. come on. It takes one click. I help, mean, help us out. Help a brother out. We're trying we need to... one of those signs that we need to stand on a corner and be like, subscribe. And just, or just to make it very clear, like, you know, we are a good cause. We're not trying yeah. to promote I mean, we any kind of bad thing. Uh, like, no bad move. Drugs are bad. Very bad. I don't do drugs anymore, I'm going to make that very clear, this is not a gang thing or drug related, any type of thing, this is just some young guys with a lot of talent that need to focus it on something to get themselves not ending up in trouble, so like that's what we do. So yeah, we record these videos and you guys are the audience, great audience by the way, oh you're a beautiful audience, <laughs> Mike, yeah. You guys dress too fine. Yeah, yeah take take a, take one dress layer off. Dress it down, it's, a, it's not casual Thursday, but it is, yeah. uh, you don't have to be smoking. <laughs> take, keep the underwear on this time, but yeah. with that. What do we got? Uh, today in hip hop, actually, it's not today in hip hop, but oh. yesterday in hip hop. Well, a, a pretty day, significant a day event. in history. A in very hip -hop history. significant event did happen 21 years ago. And it was the day that Tupac actually passed away. 21 years ago. Wasn't he 21 years old? No, surprisingly he was 25. Oh, he made it. It must have been the first time he got shot. <laughs> yeah, when he was 21. But still, like, I'm 25. Like, that's, imagine that. Like, that's crazy. It's a short lifespan. You're what, like, 55? So yeah, like, well, imagine, that's like half your life. Freedom, oh. freedom, 50, uh, yeah. for five years from pension. Yeah. But still, like, still, to be serious, though, like, that's, 1996 was when Tupac, on September 13th, yesterday, was at the, but I don't he know if he, down after he was gone down, yeah, Vegas, yeah. which was a very significant moment in hip-hop, because after that, everything changed, right, it was, Biggie was the year after, and then the whole gangster rap almost died, like, it was, yeah, it's, uh, it was uh, just a little push the so, hip-hop world needed to just take it to the next level. What a great thing is, if you don't know the story, HBO's The Defiant Ones. Like, oh, they highlight the whole thing about it. I highly it. recommend that. So that if is... you don't know the backstory about it, watch HBO's The Defiant Ones. And it's not, you, you need to understand too, it's not just, The Defiant Ones is not just hip-hop. Like, no, Jimmy not... Iovine, a guy who's very, like, World renowned for the music industry, Biggest big part of Interscope Records, and you're gonna understand him from like working with Bruce Springsteen, working with Tom, Tom Petty. Petty was a big act. He, he learned Stevie a lot Nicks. from John Lennon before working with Stevie. Yeah, playing with Stevie Nicks. <laughs> not not <laughs> R2K. Jimmy Iovine had a thing with Stevie. Yeah. But if you want to watch HBO, The Defiant Ones, it's already out. Yeah. You can easily find it. They might stream it on HBO. But uh, yeah. Highly recommended HBO special. Gotta watch, man. Gotta watch. It's very good. And it ties in a lot with the Tupac story. So if you don't, if you're not familiar with the Tupac story, that's a great. To Mr. Tupac Shakur. To Mr. Tupac Shakur. Rest in peace. And with that, let's do a Thursday taste test. 
Let's keep the, let's keep keep the show rolling. Yeah. What do we got this week? I never know these things. Dun 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 dun. This will be good. Local. This is what makes it really good. Not local for us, but local Saskatchewan. This is Saskatoon beer. Padiquid Brewery on Central Avenue. Oh, in Sutherland. Sutherland. Yeah. Padiquid beer. Your party scuzz. Oh, how do they call it the scuzz in here? I don't really. Is it? You hang out at Speckle Belly. Speckle Belly, the Fina, the scuzz, the scuzz. The scuzz yeah. But the thing is, like about Padiquid. Padiquid. And it's about five blocks off of there, just shy off of uh, Circle Drive. Here's the segue for you. Ooh. And this will tie into a little later, but my uncle, who gave me my first real career shot at carpentry, was stationed in Sutherland, just off Central, with uh, Hague Construction. Where that old train sign was, right on the corner. Yeah. Well, I wish we had a picture, but maybe not. But Padiquid, which also ties into another thing with one of the first things I've done was at WABC and Broadcasting. I made a little documentary. It was like a six, seven minute documentary thing. And I went to the Padiquid Brewery. Great guys. They're all... The rule number one with them, you need a beard. You need like a... <laughs> you need like a seven inch beard to... Qualified German style thing. beer, so you gotta have the heart rate chin strap. It is, yeah. And so, honestly, this one here I think is newer. I've never had it. So, cheers to the review. It's gonna Let's be see. good. It's Padiquid. Ooh, that's dangerous. That's that's pretty good for craft beer for Padiquid in Saskatoon. That's pretty good. Yeah, holy. So we have another little segment that you kind of brought up with our Uncle Tim in Saskatoon. Ah, uh, yes, the Segway. Is that kind of your first job in construction? That's no, 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 no. Let's, let's, let's do a job. Oh, yeah, so we're going, yeah. Let's, let's do go. a, like, I, like, on the job. On the oh. job site. So you were four so, years old sweeping chimneys. <laughs> Whistling a tune, yeah, you know. Cat calling at four years old. No, 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 no. What is it all? It really all. It all stems back to the Waldner driveway. Shout out to Josh Waldner. He'll be a guest eventually, and we've said that many episodes yeah, already. Someday, someday, you know, someday. That's that's the thing about Josh is you got to catch him when the wind's blowing the right direction. <laughs> but anyway, there's the Waldner driveway, and I kind of it, it accumulated with also. My dad built a new garage and he got the lumber from my uncle Tim, who actually got the lumber from doing a renovation job on the roof of Balfour Compass in high school. So we got this old lumber and I had to pull all the nails out of all the lumber before my dad could use it to build the garage and I helped build the garage with my uncle Tim, my uncle Fred, my uncle Rick. They all came down. How old were you at the time? You were about 12, 13 maybe? So we get to the Walder driveway and this is when me and Josh really put our our pothead together at the time and uh, we just internet was new dial up found a few excuse me blueprints of quarter pipes and such and we built a skate park in Josh's parents driveway big part of the battle axe warriors MB that is the senior guys actually hail from that generation that spot you guys would all would Confirm they can, this. They can so, vouch for it. Yeah, um, but yeah, that's where the love really started was with the Walden driveway, building that stuff. So let's talk about your very first job that you could ever think of. I worked for this crabby old guy named Barry Gall. <laughs> so did I too. Uh, he owned the uh, the low income housing property, or he didn't own. He was managing them. I had to stay in the fences. Exactly. From there, that evolved to helping dad with uh, spring seeding and harvest at the seed cleaning plant. I worked on a bee farm. I got stung all the time. And after that, I did the dish pit thing. Shout out to Dave, David Holmans and the Holmans family, little Davey. But uh, yeah, so first shot at carpentry. What made me the carpenter who I am today. I got a, my first gig from uh, 
my uncle Tim, much respect to the man, working for him at the Battleford Conference at high school. I drive every day and then I moved in with my uncle Tim for about a month and then I answered an ad in a newspaper and I that's when I met Schuler, Tyler Schuler, and I got I left my uncle to start framing houses because I really wanted to just build like frame and because my uncle was a general contractor and I really wanted to just frame like so bad because every great carpenter was a framer at one time. I worked for Built to Last Construction and it wasn't even that at the time and the first few houses we built and big shout out to the Morash family, Everett, Troy, Man, you guys mold me into the man I am today, and I still love hearing from you from time to time. I spent five years working for Corex. I spent two years working for Aspen Interiors doing steel stud framing. I um, learned a lot in commercial and residential, and now I am a superintendent working for Lyle V. Shell in North Battleford. Back home to the place where I actually started out working at the Battleford Club. And now I built the next best thing, which is the B-Tech building in North Battleford was my first job, which is kind of a building school rec center place for the disabled. And uh, the community came together and funded it. Big shout out to all the contractors in North Battleford that helped with that, like River City. And I've gotten very close with all those guys. They're a real group, good group of people. River City, I uh, will back them. L7 Electric, I'll back them. They're a very great, respectable company in North Battleford, and of course, Lyle V. Shell. So, yeah, that's that's the jobs of R2K and why I wear Carhartt and why I am who I am. And there's a little more to know about me. So, maybe. the more you know, the more you know. <laughs> I wish we had that graph. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Dude. Or do we? Yeah, I don't know, that's a knockoff. <laughs> anyway, with that, we have the Digital Keys DJs and we name, did yeah. that name that tune. We do yeah, do we, that. we rock a wicked name that tune. So we'll do a little, that poster thing right there. Boom. And it's the Book Digital your Keys wedding DJ. and your Christmas parties today. Staff parties are coming up as well. We we're very flexible on rates and you know it's just going to help the cause of what it is that we're doing here, the cause that Battle Axe is doing and the cause that is the Keys family and what we've done for years and you've seen in prior episodes how what it is that we do and yeah. we just like that good time. We know music is all we're trying to say. Alright you guys, have a good Thursday Thursdays and a safe weekend. Let's go.